Some time ago, I found this guy on Instagram. He's a drummer and makes amazing videos, tutorial videos. And I thought that he maybe he could help me learn how to drum. He makes a series with notation and lower BPM for you to learn easier. And look what he can do. Manual drumming is more natural to me. And it gives me more freedom while live performing. So I messaged him and asked him whether it was okay to use his videos to make my videos while I will be learning. He responded immediately with positive response and was very kind and also offered me help. I chose this pattern as the first one to learn because it was 4 to 4 and I thought that it would be easy. <laughs> At first, I just tried to mimic the snare and kick pattern. And it was much more difficult than I thought. I kept coming back to his video and observe his hands and movements. I realized that that would be pretty useful to use the notation that he provided, so I had to study it because I didn't know how to read it. And then I also had the idea to put the screenshot of uh, his video as a background into Koala, and it fitted perfectly so that I could read it. Okay, and now the hi-hat. Uh, okay. I was trying to make the pattern according to what I hear, um, and I couldn't hear it well, so I tried to EQ it a little bit to uh, enhance the hi-hat. Okay, now I'm getting somewhere, but so still... How did you do it? Um, yeah, you are moving your hand so fast. I was trying to read the notes, but honestly, I forgot how to read the timing. So I thought maybe it could be better to slow it down. Oh yeah, actually, in Koala, you can slow it down. Okay, observing again, you know, I uh, found out that he made more motions with his hand and yeah, enhancing and blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere. Then I made sure that I'm reading it right and, you know, studied it again, the notation. And then I thought that maybe what would help me would be uh, to divide uh, the whole notation uh, to individual beats. At first I failed horribly, but then I managed to do it and studied it, you know. And then I was trying to invent more educational methods how to, you know, how to learn to make the pattern according to the notation, as you can see here. Uh, how did you do that again? Okay, and now I was practicing, practicing, practicing. Oh yeah, now I can do it. So I sequenced it and I thought, you know, I will never be able to drum all the three drums at once, so I will mix it together. Then I at least tried to practice it again and make it better. Also change the samples. And then I decided to make also the accents that you can see at the top of the notation by Velocity in Koala. And here I found out that I got it all wrong. So I created this um, collage in CapCut to compare the notation with the sequence and saw that, you know, oh my goodness, it's all wrong. So I try again and I was practicing and trying, 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 trying. Then did it again and it's still wrong. Then I had the idea to learn the pattern uh, beat by beat. Yeah, it worked a lot better for my brain. And here, here is the breaking point where I wanted to play the individual beats. Um, so I, I realized, oh my goodness, yeah, I can define the whole loop by beats and learn them. And as you can see, what is great is that you have also the visual representation because of the waveform. It was so clear suddenly. Yeah, yeah, 
yay! So I played the individual beats and learned them one by one. Practicing, practicing, practicing. And now the big moment. I found out that I was able to sequence it, like you know, like all three at once. I always waited for another beat to come and sequence the whole um, loop like that. And then I practiced it. At the beginning, I really didn't expect myself to be able to finger drum the whole thing at once. And when I felt confident enough, I sequenced the last one. I felt so proud of myself, you know, I did it, I did it. So I wanted to make the accents and... Whoops. There is one hi-hat missing. I found out what I did wrong and I relearned. I changed the samples and it was perfect. Finally, yay. I made the accents again, then I realized that I needed to decrease the velocity a little bit more. And then I also decided to quantize it a little bit because it still felt like I was delayed while recording, but I found out that it was probably latency on my Android phone. So I fixed it manually on a free snapping and it was perfect. Guys, it took me four days <laughs> to learn this, but I'm so thrilled that I found out how to learn drum patterns to be able to finger drum and sequence manually while live performing and I'm going to learn more with Gabriel and I hope that I inspired you to learn too. Thank you so much Gabriel for making those amazing videos. I can't wait to try another one.